Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today, I just got back from getting a 20-foot section of inch cold rolled. And, of course, you saw the other stuff I bought in the last video. So, friend got it for me over and What is he in? He's in, uh, I guess, Hiram. In uh, Denmark, Hiram. Yeah, he's in Hiram. Um, anyway, Eastman's welded. Treated me pretty good on it. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, time to get out the torches. I've been trying to get this apart. I can't get this set screw out. This one here I got out, but I can't start it. So I'm gonna put a little heat to stuff and now we'll see where it goes. Well, we got this set screw out. We got this one out here too, but I can't seem to break this loose. I'm gonna put it in the press. Um, I don't think, if I press on this side, that key will come out with it. So I don't have to worry about no keyways in here. So, yeah, but, this here will not, there is a woodruff key in here and it will not go through, but I can get it moving in the press, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go to the press. So it's just another one of those miserable rainy days. We have had a lot of rain and snow this spring. So ground's 100% saturated. Today we're getting wind gusts up, I don't know, 20, 30 mile an hour. But it's much nicer here in the shop. Temperature ain't bad. It's only 55 degrees out, so. But, anyway, we're over here in the press right now. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go with it. I'm surprised the key isn't, uh, I'm about out of oil. I don't know where that key went to on the back. I'm hoping it's setting still. It's not going high, so. one piece no damage done to it which is good this piece will come right off yep I think everything should come off now except for the gear the gear is still that's down there I can get it And there was not a pin driven through there, I don't believe. I'm going to clean this up take a look at it. Well, maybe there was. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it looks suspicious right there. If it was a pin, it was real soft. So I just wanted to show you this kind of strange thing that kind of concerned me. I think you can see that pin right there. Looks like another pin right there. But... 
There's nothing through the inside. And there was quite a bit of grinding on this side. Before I got it cleaned up, it looked like maybe they had drove a pin through and then ground it off, but there is nothing. So anyway, it's good gear, didn't ruin nothing. That was, uh, had me a little perplexed there, wondering if I was gonna stave stuff up, but yeah, all's good. So anyway, <clears throat> this is what we've got. Um, I need to make another one of these frames. And yeah, basically just like that one. I don't have to have these holes here. I do need these ones here. Yeah, I must have my bad battery. I got 51%, but yet it shut my phone off, so, or my camera off. So anyway, yeah, so we're in good shape. I've got to duplicate this end right here about a foot back on one of the long shafts. Um, when I get it set up in the mill, I'll bring you along. We'll uh, do a couple of keyways. Well, we got our inch shaft in here to cut a woodruff key. Got some oil here. And I'm gonna go in dry, I guess. We'll put this in slow. We don't want it going too fast. Just touched right there. Now yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, we made it to a hundred thousandths. Can't feed it very fast, that's for sure. It's an old used cutter too, I don't have a clue. You wanna go 315. That's how deep the other one was. Oh, we just crossed 200 thousandths. I just moved it lengthways a little bit so I wouldn't have so much area on the cut. <clears throat> See if it'll help it. I only went 20 thousandths. That's 300 thousandths. <clears throat> Got it 310. There we go, it's 315. Slow process, but I imagine the cutter's a little dull, probably. So, anyway. I believe it did a good job, even though, you know, she'll make it. Pick this up now. And where at? I did not bring the woodruff key with me. Let me go get it and we'll see if it'll go in. It goes right in. I wished it actually had to be tapped. But I just cleaned this too. I didn't take all the color off in it, but probably if I left it dirty, it's it's snug. No movement, so. Probably got a half thousand clearance or so. But that's okay. Now I gotta cut a bunch of quarter inch keyways in this thing.
we're taking an eighth inch cot, so not hurrying it. Looks pretty good. Perfect. We got a line right there, it's hard to see, but it's there. So we will stop the feed right there. Pretty good. So that's what we got done so far. We did this quarter inch keyway here. Did the quarter inch keyway down there. Woodruff key beyond that. They're pretty close to being lined up. So anyway, I gotta reverse this, flip it around and do one more keyway on the other end. So only got to come into that mark right there. I'm not going to film it, but I'll bring you back when I get it done. So for people that have a bell saw, you'll probably understand what I'm saying here. These two lines right here represent the brass pin that's in behind this bolt. I almost cut it too long right here on that groove. It's just barely going to miss. So I'm still good. Uh, almost frigged it up. But anyway, when I do the next one, I'll stop back here because that is where the end of the cast iron right here stops. So I shouldn't have cut anything inside of that cast iron because <clears throat> that's barren surface. But it's not worth throwing the shaft away. Um, the only thing I could do is I could cut this um, Woodruff key again and cut it about 3 eighths of an inch down which would mean I'd have to slide the whole shaft that way, which I do have enough room. Because as you can see, I got three quarters of an inch of stick out to get to this seam. So I could do that. I got to think on that. I think I'm probably going to leave it. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt nothing. I'm not really happy with myself, but you know, sometimes best laid plans, you know. Um, anyway, I went a little too far, but we did good. It's done. Um, I'll decide whether or not I want to cut that keyway again. If I do cut that keyway, um, you know, it just weakens the shaft to put another cut that's almost opposite it. So I'll probably leave it the way it is. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Got one shaft done. Um, got one more to do for this because I got to extend this one. And of course, that's all this disassembly too. So, not a big deal, but I'm gonna actually put this one together and have this one setting on, on here before I take that one apart. I may cut the shaft though, but I gotta come up with another one of these. This is the one piece I'm missing, is that piece right there. And I hate to do it, and I don't know as I'm gonna, but I got another one of these carriages out back. But it's a complete mill, and I hate to start cannibalizing it, you know? But I may do it. I may just go on out and grab one because, you know, it's got one on the end just like that. So, anyway, I'll figure that out between now and tomorrow night. I'll take care, everybody. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.